want to start at the beginning, but I can't remember the beginning. I can remember the end. I should never forget the end. Um, have you wiped your feet? I was about five and he helped me in the oven and turned the gas on. He didn't really want to hurt me. He was trying to frighten me mum. He liked frightening me mum. In fact, he was bloody horrible to her. Stephen? Stephen, come and have a dance with me. Come on, stand up, let me take your coat off. See, you do like having a little dance. Ron, Ron, you're scaring me. Whose blood is this? Oh, Ron, what have you done? What's with all the bleeding questions? I'm meant to be your wife. Yeah, cook and clean, not nag, nag, nag every two minutes. I've had enough of this. You're making me ill. We have a child. Well, don't concern yourself with my business then. How can I not? I'm leaving, and I'm taking Stephen with me. You won't fucking dare. I'll stop you breathing. Daddy, leave mommy alone. And you can pack it in and all. <laughs> well, stop him crying. If you don't shut him up, I'll gas him. I'll fucking gas him. Stop sobbing, I won't tell you again. I didn't see him for about 20 years after that, and when we finally met, he looked me straight in the eye and he said, Whatever your mother's told you about me, it will be true. Take your shoes off. Listen. And listen carefully, Mr. Killick. Big brother's gonna help little brother. How? I'm gonna tell you how. We've been watching you two since the coppers let him go. We could squash you like two flies on a piece of shit. That would leave shit all over animal shoes. And he'd walk that shit into my nice clean office. And there'd be shit everywhere. Funny thing is, big brother Ted, it's that same shit that's keeping your little brother alive. Do you know why? Shh. I'll tell you why. That ain't any old shit, that's my shit. And no one takes my shit and comes up smelling the roses. Your little brother has my shit. in the form of a million quid's worth of diamonds. And he's choosing to play silly buggers. I want you to help him smell the shit he's in. And I know you want to help, don't you? 
whatever I can do. Honestly, Mr. Stubbs, he's never said a word about any shit. Your shit, he's shit, or anybody's shit. And I have never, ever heard him mention the word diamonds. Not once. Well, you know about the diamonds now. Is that why that copper's been on my case? All unofficial, and in me own bloody boozer? With all due respects, Mr. Stubbs, I ain't my brother's keeper. What copper? A hutch, Mr. Stubbs. A DC hutch. Listen, we'll take care of him. You may leave. Make them see sense, for the sake of the family. I want Hutch. Yes, boss. Oi, boss. Yes, animal. How do you want him, dead? Or alive? Hey, thanks for doing that, mate. Cheers, Ron. Hey, how's your family? They're all fine. Listen, I've been hearing some vicious rumours about you. What's going on? Oi! Ron! Sorry, Clay. I need a word with my brother. That's all right, sir. Come on. Catch up with you later, mate. Okay, Ron. There's a bloody gun to my head. Oi! You listening? A gun! Yeah? You need a mint head. What I need is this sorted out. Now you can imagine what Audrey's been like. She wants to know the ins and outs of a cat's ass, and I don't even know what's going on. Look, calm down, will ya? I'm telling you, Ron, it ain't gonna be long before she's up and off with me boys. Now I don't care what you do, just get them off my back now. You've been far too easy on her over the years. Letting her all you about. Who wears the trousers in your ass, eh? You ain't listening to me. She's always been a drama queen. One more word and I'm gonna knock you through that wall. Why? Is it one you built? You think everything's just a joke, don't you? When are you gonna wake up and start smelling the shit you're in? I don't think it's a joke, Ted. Look. I'll sort it out, all right? Don't worry. When? I don't know. You don't know. Well, I know. I know. Just give them the flipping diamonds back. Yeah. Well, I would have told you about them if the old Bill didn't get to them first. I ain't seen them diamonds since. Since when? Since I asked you to turn back when we was on our way to Kenny's. Hold on. Don't start blaming me. I don't like the sound of all these old cobblers coming out of your mouth. I asked you to turn back. You was the driver, Ted. And you call yourself a brother. Ron, you ain't a gambler at the best of times. Yet right now, you're gonna gamble with your own family. <sighs> oh, that's it. Walk away and blame everybody else and leave me to clear your mess up! Animal. What went wrong? It was that arch boss. He's a liability. We was plotted up in the back of the van. Terry, leave it. Just tell me what happened, will you? We was in the back of the van.
Would a bloody hell think you're playing that, Hutch? You know what Archie said. No one gets hurt. Believe it or not, he's only cut off a valley funnel. Serves you right. Stop whinging. No, look. I thought we had a bigger one than this. It's not the size that matters. It's the way you use it that counts, Pat. Well, at this moment in time, we need something much bigger. Right. Let's cover up. Hutch! I don't believe you. You look ridiculous. And this is the future of the Great British Bobby. God help us. Now take that off your head and put this on, you pilchard. <laughs> pilchard? More like a sardine. We ready? Hutch? Animal? Right, let's go.